He's in the corner. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Katsari the phobia is the phobia of cockroaches that some people have. Clearly not me. Because cockroaches aren't the cutest creatures living on earth. It's thick, it's slimy, it's greasy, and worse of all, they just like to jump out of nowhere and scare the s*** out of you. If people have been screaming at the sight of cockroach while you were growing up, most likely you're going to develop the phobia in the future as well. There are many different types of cockroaches out there in the world, and right here from the continent of South America, we have the Dubia roach, also known as the Argentina wood roach. Oh, you're so cute! It's so shy and flat and small. This is a juvenile and we bought it because we use it to feed our pet fish arowana and that's the reason why it's sold in pet shops. They should eat fruits. <gasps> like leafy greens, grains, fresh fruits, healthy little buggers. And then from the continent of Asia, we have the German cockroach. Yes, they don't really originate from Germany so uh, no one knows why exactly it's called the German cockroach. But anyway, you guys, would have seen this cockroach quite often but they are often mistaken for juvenile American cockroaches They are a bit tinier, they have the size and they have a golden light brown colour just like my hair and oh, oh, this is a female with an egg case she's gonna be a mom and they have a very high reproductive rate so they can go from an egg to an adult within two months Yep. From the continent of Africa, we have the American cockroach What? Ah uh, yes, the name is like Chapalang and Nihawan. Uh, it's called the American cockroach because it was introduced to the US in the early 17th century because of the human commercial trade. And it has spread very rapidly since then. This cockroach is one of the largest species around and definitely the most well-known in Singapore because they are literally everywhere. And unlike the German cockroaches, American cockroaches have to hang outdoors so they have to chill around the longgang and sewage areas. Adult cockroaches are the only ones that can fly. The juvenile ones, they are practically wingless. Wait, all the adults can fly? Yeah, all adults can fly, but they usually don't like to fly because they're very lazy. So they would rather hide and run away or run towards you than to fly. <laughs> yeah, so if they fly, that means they really hate you. <laughs> Cockroaches are known as Xiao Chang because they're really very Chang in terms of their strong survival capabilities. The list of achievements include. <laughs> And they love beer! Even though cockroaches sound almost indestructible, there are supposedly very effective ways of dealing with it. So one of them is the usual pesticide, there's also mouthwash, and there is the shampoo. Honestly, we're not really sure if these tactics will work, so let's find out together. Pesticides and other insecticides work because, duh, that's the only reason for its existence. They only have one job. It contains toxic substances that kills cockroaches but it's not very good for us to keep inhaling these chemicals and it smells really unpleasant. Listerine and other mouthwashes, they actually contain a number of essential oils such as peppermint and it gives out a strong smell that will repel the cockroaches. Also, a coating of these substances over their bodies prevents air from entering the tiny holes of the brain tubes which will suffocate these buggers. It's dead! Shampoo and pretty much other soapy products, they have two properties. It acts as a surfactant which makes it easier for water to stick or easier to wet a surface. And also, it produces a lot of bubbles. So all of these will effectively block the breathing holes of the insect and cut off their air supply, essentially suffocating them. Surprisingly, all of them works! Of course, the winner will be none other than the pesticide, followed by the shampoo which did, not too bad, pretty fast or so. And last but not least, it will be the Listerine. I think this took a bit of time to kill the cockroach because suffocation needs a bit of time to happen. What do we do with all these dead cockroaches now? Mm, we can dissect them. But maybe next time. Just keep thinking.